Ya. Can you slow down a bit? So that, guys, was about 15 years ago. I just dug out that clip. I don't know how I found it, um, but I managed to just scale across the internet and use like Wayback Machine or something to find it. So that was back in the days when I was actually directing a company that made lithium polymer batteries. Um, and what you saw there was one of the first lithium polymer batteries that was capable of that sort of power. Um, so I'd built up this microjet, which is like a multiplex, I don't know if they still even do that. Do they even still make that model? But it was like a foam flying wing with a little prop on the back, so like a pusher um, thing with just like um, elevons as a as to, to control it. Uh, and this little thing, I mean, I'd, I'd loaded up batteries, I'd put this big, great big ducted fan on the back of it, and it was pushing, I don't know, about a thousand watts or something like that. And it would push past its own weight just on the, you know, from its thrust. You could hold it in the air and it would just literally just like, you know, hover. Um, in that way, but it was a nightmare to launch. I used to just chuck it or get somebody else to chuck it like as you do um, But the torque of the fan would twist kind of the, the airframe so that it wouldn't it would fly away And it you'd immediately goes bang to one side and you'd have to kind of counteract that um, And then it wouldn't fly properly until it got to like a, a decent speed But it was just it was a missile basically such good fun So some of you die-hard RC guys out there you might even remember those batteries flight power batteries they were kind of wrapped in a, a gold um, capped on wrap and with fiberglass tape and stuff like that and they, they were pretty good in their day so I wind it forward about 15 years I'm now 39 and I haven't touched a radio controlled plane since I was about 26 so this is going to be an interesting one for me because I have just been in contact with a um, popular model shop that I used to actually kind of sell stuff to um, and we had a little chat and I've picked up something quite interesting and it's in this box Nearly chuck that on the floor then. Hey! So we've got a little plane. Let's open the box. Well, I already have actually, but for you guys. So there it is. A little plane. A little plane to help me hone my skills so I can do the thing that I really want to do, which I'm not going to tell you yet. So this is going to be like a little trainer type setup because it has got this um, kind of stability program thing um, built into it. So, so the idea with this is get my skills back up to speed and then um, I'll be ready for something quicker. Nice little setup though, these have been around for ages. They were around like 15 years ago in their kind of early days. They still had very similar kind of setups, but, but they're great because you get everything in the box, so even the batteries for the um, remote controller. But I have got a DX6 here as well, which is gonna be for the other projects, but you can bind it to this, no problem. So it'll be good to, I'm not sure I'll even use this. So as always with these things, it is absolutely peeing down with rain outside, so it's supposed to be like it all day, so I'm not going to be able to do it out there. Um, and there's nowhere else I can do it, so it might have to wait. But what I am going to do is I'm going to charge the battery up. That is just ridiculous, that little tiny little battery. Should have grabbed a couple more of these, actually. I'm not sure how charged this is. I'm going to pop that into there. That's the right way around. And then guess what? I'm going to charge it from my solar system. I mean, it's only a 150 milliamp battery, which is just tiny, but... Might as well start the way I mean to carry on, charging from my solar system. There you go guys, it's in there, charging. So apparently that red light just turns off when it's fully charged. I haven't even got the manual out yet. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Well, I've just stuck the wheels on. The wheels are just, um, you just clip them in. It's really straightforward. It's, it's incredibly light, like that is indoor flyer sort of light. But yeah, nice little plane. It shouldn't be too easy to fly as well because it's, it's kind of the wing is actually on the, on the bottom. Um, so normally if you're sort of learning to fly you'd have it up the top and sort of use a trainer Probably wouldn't go for something like this if you can't fly at all But but it does actually say teach yourself to fly So if you're completely new to it, obviously I'm not I've flown aircraft before but my skills are probably a little bit lax now But I do fly drones, so I do fly 
Um, I'll say drones, some people pulled me up on saying drones or quadcopter, I don't know, whatever, but, but basically if you're flying like a Mavic or something like that, you don't really need that many flying skills because everything is kind of done for you. It just hovers when you take hands off the stick so you don't have to do anything. But the Phantom 4 that I also fly, you can put that in acro mode so it turns off a lot of the stability, which the Mavic doesn't do, unfortunately. But anyway, I doubt it's gonna be flown today until this all clears up. All right, this is charged then. So it's still a bit rainy outside and the wind's started to pick up as well. And also, I've got to go out soon as well. So it doesn't look like it's gonna happen, guys. I might have to leave this for another video, but what I will do is stick this battery in here and, um, and see what happens. Right, now it said it was bound to the transmitter um, out of the box, but it wasn't, it wasn't working. So yeah, look at that, it's got a bit of the, uh, that's the adjustments it's making itself to keep itself level kind of thing. So anyway, now, it is actually doing what it's supposed to do. So that's the aileron, um, elevator, and then you've got, we'll see the front wheel moves as well, which is quite nice. Uh, oh, actually the front wheel's moving. Oh, you got, there's a bit of a mix there. So you get a bit of rudder with the aileron as well, which is quite interesting. Uh, and then you've got, obviously, elevator there. The rudder, actually turns the wheel, front wheel as well, which is quite nice, quite well done. For a tiny little plane, it's pretty amazing. And then, of course, throttle. Now, I didn't realise this at the beginning, it's actually like a brushed motor, so it's not a brushless one, which is surprising in this day and age, but it is a geared one. This is, I do remember these from when I was into it before. This is a bit wobbly, I don't know if that's, um, if the actual shaft's slightly bent, but that's going up and down a bit. Probably nothing to worry about, really. So now, really, we just need to try and find the centre of gravity and make sure we can balance it on there. I'll have to have a look in the, uh, in the manual. It's got some power. So the centre of gravity is about 30 to 32 um, millimetres from the leading edge of the wing. So I did, I put the battery in and I just measured it and it, it kind of sits right um, with the battery basically just right at the front, but I've just been playing around with it. So I stuck the battery back on charge again. Yeah, so we'll give it a little go soon, but not in this video. It'll be in another one. Catch you in the next one, guys. <laughs> <laughs>